Hey guys, it's time for a brew. Oh man. So, I think in my last video I forgot to mention, looking at my notes from the last one, I still have those laying there. Uh, I don't think I mentioned this. <laughs> so, as you probably maybe gra grasped uh, of the themes of me talking about going for like a walk or a bike ride, uh, eyelashes in my eye, that's not happening right now. Um, one of the things I noticed was, one of the things you probably noticed is, is the bugs. I, I really do not like bugs. I throw my man card to the wind uh, because I do not, I do not like bugs at all. And and it's getting to this time of year where the bugs are getting real bad, real bad, um, especially on the bike path. But more on that in a little while. Uh, but this weekend, when I went to that party where the kid broke his leg, uh, or his femur to be exact, uh, I wore a hat because my hair has just been like, holy crap, I have so much hair up there. And I'm going to get that chopped off soon, by the way. There was bugs out there, because these people lived out in the country, you know, when they had their little get-together. And there was horse flies, wasps, all the things that I don't like. And... But I had a hat on, so I feel a little bit better, because then I can be like, bah, get away, get away, get away, you know, and just whack at it, and even though it's flown far away by then, I'm still whacking at the air, thinking it's still nearby, because I'm just freaking out. <laughs> but, in my freaking out, I go for my hat really quickly. Maybe you can figure out how this is getting, this is going. Um, See, so definitely this was not a bug that did this. It was definitely my thumb. <laughs> my thumb attacked me and caused more pain than any of the bugs ever did because the bugs never cut, never touched me. Uh, so yeah, so I go for my hat really quick and I just, and I felt myself like kind of hit, hit with my fingernail. I, I felt that, but I didn't think it was anything too bad. But then I was like, God, that still hurts. And I'm like, kept going up there and I'm like looking for blood, you know, because clearly it left a mark and it cut the skin. And so I was definitely like, oh my gosh, like what did I do? And then I look and it's like, oh, there's part of my forehead on my thumb. And it's like, oh my gosh, I went and just messed it all up. But yeah, so that's that's what that's all about. But uh, yeah, but otherwise it was a great weekend, and this morning I was so tired because it was just such a long weekend. Well, not a long weekend, a long Sunday. I'm not used to all that social interaction in one day. And if you notice the thing, my background changed, and it's a really bright background apparently. Uh, but keeping up in the shop has been such a good way to kind of start this Monday. And it's been really like that last like week, which is really cool because, you know, getting done with the fair, a lot of times we have a lot of people that come in uh, like, oh, well, I talked to you there. You know, hey, you know, maybe we can get some work done or something. And, or they wait till next year and then they finally talk to us at the fair again. Never have us do work for another year. And it's just it's just weird that way, but we've been keeping up and it's just it's just made me feel a little oh, ooh, good stuff right um so alongside my stupidity with this thing i also i'm not going to be mean and like flip you off or anything read between the lines read between the lines um but no uh, a computer bit me today as i will say um when you're looking at the back of a tower a desktop system this is normally something i would talk about for my second channel but um but normally when you look in the back of a tower, you have all the little places where you can put stuff, right? USBs, PS2s, VGA, um, uh, sound, all that good stuff, right? Um, one of the things you don't normally see, and there's a reason, the, re the thing you don't normally see are little metal flaps hanging out the back, just flapping in the wind, not really flapping. They stay right there, and they're very sharp because it's very, very thin metal. Well, I'm so used to grabbing right underneath the um, where the power supply is at the at the top part where there's a power port and sometimes a little black switch. Um, right below that, like where your where that panel thin panel is, it's usually like like this, like it's a like like skinny thing like that. I don't know. Um, like right above PS2, but I usually grab underneath there if there's a lip there. I, it's almost where I always grab. As you can see, I always do it this way. I just come up and grab a hold of it, and I grab a hold of the front somewhere. And 
I did it. It's funny because I grabbed it like that, set it on the floor because it was really dusty and I blew it out and stuff. And I'm like, oh, that's not in a good position. I don't like that. Whatever reason, whatever my OCD brain was going off on at that moment. So I had to move it. I went and moved it again. It was, ow! Like, I'm like, I'm like doing one of those like, ah! Flipping flips. And so I, I'm like looking and I'm like, oh, gosh dang it, that thing bit me, like, it, it cut me, so I went in the bathroom and, like, and, like, wash it off and stuff, and, and it started bleeding, of course, because I, as soon as I get cut on stuff, I'm just, like, <laughs> bleeding profusely, it happens no matter what, it seems, um, I finally got it to where it was kind of not doing it as much, and then I kind of just wrapped it up, and then, and then I got a bandaid on it, and I've changed it since then, luckily, and I was just like, you got to be kidding me, and I went and, like, I, at this point, I hadn't even see it. I just went, I'm like, okay, I'll go back and look. What happened? Here's one of them stinking flaps. I've seen it down in the other areas. Um, but yeah, so I got so one of those pieces of metal, they'll cut you, and I've always knew, known that. I just don't normally get cut by them. I'm usually pretty good about not sliding my fingers or whatever on the back of any of these cases. And I one time I happened to catch one of those, and it just, just flipped my, laid my finger right open. And... Uh, but anyways, like I was saying, you normally don't see that because those flaps are normally on the inside and then like your PS2s, USBs, all that stuff are like a little metal box. I don't want to sound so vague about it, but a little box that's attached to the motherboard on the back there and that flap lays down here, lays right on top of that. And kind of, I want to say kind of like a grounding thing. I mean, it kind of, I mean it is sort of, um, but it's kind of a way to keep some some charge or whatever from always kind of going out to the case kind of like um, usually when you're taught uh, basic one-on-one -on -one stuff about computers if for some reason you do not have a static strap touch the case touch something metal somewhere nearby you and ground yourself basically and get that static charge out of you and so yeah I just I, this person whoever built it wasn't wasn't us and I even said some individual built this I think for me yeah, this individual is also a moron, and uh, um, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use somebody's phrase because I thought it's hilarious. Licks windows, okay? Because this person, you do not do that, okay? Why would you ever fold them out? And if you're gonna do that, why don't you just cut them off? Why why even leave, leave them there at all? But anyways, uh, to tonight I got home and uh, oh, I went for a walk. That was that was nice. Um, because of as I said earlier, it's like the bugs are getting bad. So I if I go for a walk. I have a better chance of not um, dying if I go swatting for a bug and I'm like riding, you know, relatively fast. And so I made a Mexican pizza for supper and it did really well because I actually bought corn tortillas instead of flour uh, when I did them. So they actually got crispy and all that like they should be. And um, oh my gosh, I, I almost forgot. I told you guys I bought a banana and I actually ate it. What? What? Yes, I ate that banana this morning. I think I should have let it ripen a little bit more and it'd been a little sweeter. Um, but yeah, I ate it. I'm alive. It wasn't that bad. I don't know if I'd buy any more right, right away. At least not. I wouldn't buy a bulk, like a whole bundle. I don't know. I don't buy bananas, so I don't really know what you really. I forget what it's really called. Um, but yeah, so I might get another one just to see and let it ripen a little bit more this time and then try it. And maybe it'll be all right. Or I thought about cutting it up and making a smoothie. I don't know. I'll do something. Hope you guys had a great Monday and you don't have a case of the Mondays by any means. And I will talk to you again tomorrow. See ya.